it's crystal head vodka. A skull is a dead thing. A head is a living, a living thing. Oh, sorry. See, that's all right. <laughs> uh, crystal Indiana skull Jones and the, Well, you saw Indiana Jones and the crystal skull. We're celebrating the legend of the 13 crystal skulls in the Indiana Jones movie. They mentioned the Mitchell Hedges skull, which actually resides in Canada. There's a bit of a controversy. Are they really carved out of single crystals, or were they made in a, a German workshop in the 1800s? Some people believe that they are ancient artifacts, some do not. Just as people believe in UFOs or not, or ghosts or not, however you take it, it's a pure spirit. We built it in the spirit of enlightenment, and it's a non-additive vodka. There's no glycol, citrus, uh, sugar, or fuseloids at all. This is like old-time moonshine. It's very dry, has a bit of a creamy undertaste to it, and uh, not not as slippery as a lot of vodkas today. It's uh, quite a, quite a, bit, a dry beverage. It drinks like a grappa. It's uh, like a sipping vodka. So so no hangover. No hangover. It's pretty pure. Yeah, and it's expensive. You know, this is not for college kids. This is expensive. Um, a lot of people a lot of people are very surprised about your venture into wine. How passionate are you compared to wine compared to your other art? Well, you know, I I, I sort of backed into this business. Uh, J.P. DeJoria, the brilliant entrepreneur who owns Paul Mitchell Systems and Patron Tequila, and I, we, uh, we got together, we brought Patron into Canada. I'm the importer for Patron Spirits in Canada all across the country, and the distributor I was partnered with had, a, had four wineries in the Niagara region. I started to drink these Niagara wines, which I hadn't really had in a long time. They've come along in quality, and we decided to do a table wine for around 20 bucks, but it gives you a big French Bordeaux experience, like a 60 buck experience. We won awards with our Sauvignon Blanc, and uh, the vodka came when my friend John Alexander, the, in fact, a friend of Carl Hyacinth's, one of your, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. John and, and Carl are good friends. John, as Carl can tell you, is one of the leading landscape uh, artists and portraitists in America. He just had an exhibit at the uh, Smithsonian, at the American Wing in Washington, D.C., and at the Houston Museum of Fine Art. And he drew up this rendering and said, you know what, what let's do a, a tequila. I said, well, I'm in the tequila business with Patron for life. Let's do a vodka. Let's do something different. Let's do a pure spirit vodka. So it's just one step away from organic, and it's uh, and people are liking it. You know? what, what is the retail for? Uh, it's going to go for around uh, uh, 50 Around 50, yeah, 50, you know, 53 or 4. Does the Niagara wine, uh, does that area, is that going to be competing with Napa soon? Well, uh, of course, the grapes in Napa are, are, are really old, you know. They're, they're, they're 100, 150-year-old grapes. The grapes in Niagara are 50, 60 years old. So as far as whites go, right now, today, I have an Ackroyd uh, Reserve Signature Chardonnay. I would take that, I would put that up against any Stag's Leap or any one of those whites or a Montrachet in France, and I, I would win a prize with that from Niagara. The reds we need work on. Yeah. But the thing about the Niagara uh, that Napa doesn't have is we have water forever. And Niagara, uh, Napa's getting a bit dry, but I love the Napa stuff. I love the Coppola vineyards, I love Diamond Creek, and my, I'm working with Sonoma, a wineries, uh, our winemakers with the Loach Vineyards. We're going to do a red and a white down here. Same concept. Retail in the store so you can buy a case of it, not to feel too badly dented. Table wine to be had with food. $60 Bordeaux or $60 Chardonnay experience for, for around 20 bucks. So, so, so I don't overpay for wine. I never have. I'm, I'm not a wine snob. I I won't overpay for wine. Right. So you're in this for the long haul. What's that? You're in this for the long haul. Oh, this is my new life, man. Right.